Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. Welcome back to the Burning Crusade. We are back in Outland, and we are going to continue our mini-series on the Stinky Bright Potion. And if you guys haven't seen yet, I just released a video this last Saturday on going back to the Eternal Palace raid in Nashatar where I am rediscovering dungeons and raids that we've already done, but I am drinking the Stinky Bright Potion, which makes everything lit up in the world. Today, we are back in the Black Temple Raid in the Burning Crusade, and we're gonna get a new perspective on what it looks like here. Now, as you guys know, I've already made a video on this place, so if you'd like to know how I escaped and who the OOB credit goes to in that video, you can just go watch the original video and you can see all the details there now let's get right to the video now in these videos i'm not going to be exploring everywhere because we've already made a video on this place but i want to revisit some of the old places to see what it's like to relight the map up now what happens is when you drink this stinky bright potion it makes the world lit up like this look at that <laughs> oh interesting that must be the final boss room where you fight illidan huh you see what I'm saying? Like, this is why I'm making a series on this. Now, I do have to give credit credit to True Hero because he's the one that sent me these potions. I never knew about them until he sent me them. So I got to say thank you to him so much. Uh, so thank you, Hero, again, for giving me these potions. Also, we got a new mount from the, um, the shop. Look at that. We're going to be hovering aboard and around in style. So let's go take a look around the Black Temple and let's go see this raid in a whole new light. Now, I am super excited because this already looks amazing i i wish blizzard would have a whole new perspective on the game and you could have a day and night now they already have do have a day and night cycle obviously you know because when you're in the capital cities or you're in normal azeroth there is a day and night cycle but what i'm saying about a day and night cycle is i wish you could function between day and night for these raids and dungeons but i guess that's why they have the potions right so this is just awesome i mean look at this you're seeing the black temple in daylight i mean this just puts a whole new perspective on the game and if you guys haven't watched my nashatar uh the eternal palace raid video when i do the sunlit adventure man it's awesome in there too you can see the chains of nazoth like really up close so but anyways we're not in the eternal palace we are back in the black temple and let's go take a look around and I remember doing this video, it was a, a few months back. I mean, it's been a while since I've been here. And uh, also I put a community vote and a lot of you guys voted to go back to the Burning Crusade. So I'm gonna be coming out with some more Burning Crusade uh, dungeons coming up. And uh, by the time this video drops, I probably already released a few this past week. But I um, mean, look at this, this isn't just this awesome. What do you ever get to see? When do you ever get to see Outland in sunlight? I mean, this is awesome. Look at this. This is a treat, you know? It really is a treat. So, I, I just... World of Warcraft is so cool, and... I just love the lore and the backstory of the game, and... Just how many things you can do in this game. It's just amazing to me with the, um... The amount of potions and the ways you can, you know, do the game differently, and... It just brings a whole new light, no pun intended, to the game with this potion. I just got to thank Hero so much because, uh, you know, he's, he sent me these and he's like, dude, you got to check these out. And I'm glad I did because this has been a really fun mini series so far. So, like I said, we're not going to go see everything uh, again. So let's go check out this way and let's go ride through. And I'm just going to give you guys kind of a glimpse of what the Black Temple looks like in daytime. So I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can get a better shot. Uh, hopefully I can climb these hills in first person. <laughs> there we go. But isn't that awesome? Look at that. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm gonna try to do a little bit, a little, I have a, a little bit different with my intros. I wanna start getting a little more cinematic. Uh, a lot of you that watched my part two of the Siege of Ogamar video, it had kind of a different intro there. And um, I was very excited to do something different a little bit of a different twist in the beginning as you guys saw with the uh getting just a little more cinematic in my intros and i'm hoping to um put a little more different spin on things and i don't know make this a little more fun for you guys 
because uh, I feel like I should put in a little more effort in editing, especially bad parts out of the video. Um, but I just have never been a grandmaster person when it comes to editing. So I don't put a ton of time into editing. I really just edit out parts that I feel like are boring or there's so much walking that it's like, I don't want you guys to sit there and watch me walk across miles of landscape to see nothing. I mean, that's just, that's no fun. So I try to save you guys as much time as I can with that. But in this video, we're only gonna be in here. I'm gonna try to aim for about 10 minutes and uh, then we'll be, we'll definitely, cl we'll close it out, so. We do have the edge of the world, if you guys remember. This does drop off, and that is all t untextured gray space down there. So you can go down there, but there is nothing down there. Trust me, I've been down there. <laughs> um, let's go check it out. So there's a couple of key points I want to go see. Is Now, if you guys don't know, or if you don't remember, the entrance to the raid of this place is actually outside of the map itself. Um, Blizzard kind of puts like this smoke and mirrors effect on the entrance and you can actually get to the entrance over here so we're going to go up the hills here and we're actually going to go revisit the entrance of the black temple and see what it looks like in the middle of the day here one thing i do want to do is i want to revisit that escort mission that you do as a horde character uh with the when you go and rescue the uh the Zandalari people, the trolls, out of the jail. Remember, I, I made a video on that a while back, too, and that was a lot of fun, but... Okay, so coming up over here on the side now, if you guys see this, this is actually the entrance to the raid. So, when you... You know, you go into the raid on the side of the building or the wall over there in the beginning, uh, this is actually the, uh, the main path here. And what's really interesting is they keep this space here that, you, I mean, you're never really supposed to see to begin with. But I don't know, I think it's kind of neat that uh, they keep all this out here. Now, I never knew what this was. I just know that this is some sort of black textured box out here. And let's go see if we can stand on it. Oh, you can, okay. So it's just a dark space that they just put out here. That's kind of creepy. Oh, look at that. Oh, interesting. So there's actually more stuff that's down there. Look at all that. I don't know what that is. I'll definitely have to go down there. Um, you know what? Let's go fly down there. And then what I can do is I can set a campfire. Um, you know what? I'll, let's go over here first. Because I want to go see the entrance over here in the day. And then we'll go fly down there. And then uh, we'll call it a video. But I kind of just wanted to give you guys a new perspective on the Black Temple. What it would look like during the day. And just something that you don't normally get to see. So... I hope you guys are enjoying these sunlit adventures. I know I am. I'm going to be posting one of these, like I said, uh, every Saturday. So this will be just a mini series on revisiting dungeons and raids that are normally at night or are, you know, full of darkness that you can't normally see. And we're going to light up the world around us. So, all right, let's go fly down here. And as you guys can see, this is actually the entrance in Shadowmoon Valley. So this is right here where you come into the raid. This is what this is actually, um, what you're looking at right now. So let's go fly back down here and let's go take a look. But it's so awesome to see this in the daylight. Now, as you guys can see, so here is the entrance to the raid right there. You can actually walk in there, but you will get stopped by a wall and I'll show you right now. Now, what's really interesting to me is they keep all these particle smoke effects out here, but you're never supposed to see them anyways. So why they kept that out here, I don't know, but uh, I guess just in case somehow you were able to glitch and see. But if you walk in here, you should, there you go. You can kind of get a little glimpse of it, but there you go. There's the entrance to the raid right there. As you walk up, uh, there's the portal right over here and then you walk in. So it's kind of neat to see. There's the portal. You can kind of see it in the back here. It's spinning. There's a better look right there. So that's where the entrance of the raid is. So there you go. That's the entrance of the raid, which is really neat. Now, let's go fly back down into the void there. And let's go take a look and see what that uh, space was. But I'm going to travel up here real quick. It's really fun revisiting old dungeons and raids. I, I think it's kind of neat to see uh, exactly what things look like out in the day. 
Now, I, you know, I want you guys to be honest with me. I don't want to revisit old content and you guys feel like I'm being lazy with my videos. Uh, this is why I'm just going to make them a mini series. Obviously, every week, every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm trying to push out new OOBs that you guys have never seen. So trust me, this is not going to be a, uh, you know, a video. So I'm going to be pushing out every day. This is just going to be once a Saturday a week and uh, that's it. So this isn't going to be like an everyday thing. <laughs> But if you guys are enjoying these, please let me know and I'll definitely make more. Now, as we fly down here, it looks like there's just some sort of, you know, random needle looking wall sticking out of the ground. Let's go see if we can find something new down here. Oh, that's deadness. Okay. Wow. So you actually die down here. Interesting. So you can't even get down there to begin with. But you can kind of see, you kind of make it out. It looks just like a needle looking wall sticking out of the ground there. So, well, anyways, guys, my bright potion has gone off because I died. <laughs> so uh, we're going to end the video here. And uh, I just appreciate you guys coming and watching. Now, actually, we're going to end up in Westfall because that's the default graveyard once you are officially not on Azeroth anymore. So the game, if you guys didn't know... Uh, if you go, if you're, if you do OOB and you go out of bounds and you leave the map completely, the game doesn't know where to put you. So there's a default graveyard for Stormwind, uh, for, sorry, for Stormwind, for the Alliance and it's Westfall. So no matter what character you're playing, if you die and the game doesn't know where to put you, it's going to put you in Westfall. And back in the day, that's how a lot of the uh, old school, um, people who wanted to stay as a human worgen would do their trick and uh yeah so that's why i'm in westfall so anyways guys thank you for watching this mini series on the sunlit adventures in azeroth as always my name is nathan i will catch you on the next one take care